What's going on guys? We're here with part two of our review video. The first one you saw a few weeks ago. And Halo Top has come out with some new products. They sent us like an email and they wouldn't tell us what it was. And they were like, do you want to try our new, you know, like product and you can take it on the go. And I was like, what could that even be? Yeah. Popsicles. So the serving size is three bars. So these are minis. So let's just talk about one bar. It's two grams of fat, eight grams of carbs, two fiber, two sugar alcohol. So that's Four net carbs. And 50 calories. So I think just from the calories, you, you're like, this is gonna be a tiny thing. Yeah, Halo Top's more about low calories and it's just like, not really good ingredients at, all. at all. It's like skim milk, it's corn fiber, it's stuff like that. Yeah. There's flour in it for some reason. Really just like as bad of ingredients as you could possibly imagine, but. Very low calories, that's yeah. your thing. I mean, you know, people need their little treats after dinner. This, this fits perfectly into that. So we actually tried these the other night. Um, we tried the strawberry cheesecake ones and they don't have this in pint. So I was excited about that. And it tastes really good. I was surprised. Yeah, they put graham flour in it. So like graham crackers are the best, you know. Peanut butter swirl. Pretty good. Yeah. They're good. Very peanut buttery in a good way. So like, but you can see how tiny it is. It's like four bites. But really delicious, but that's because they're using like high carb ingredients in a small amount, right? Mm -hmm. Then we got these ice creams. Never heard of them before. It's called Da Bomb. Yeah, I haven't even seen any like advertising on Instagram or anywhere. Ice cream for your keto life. Four net carbs, 22 fat, 12 carb, eight sugar alcohol, two protein. Wow. Now these are pretty good ingredients, I'd say. That's so weird, right? It uses xylitol though. Oh, instead it does. Of erythritol. It's from birch tree though, not like the corn xylitol. That's what we tested. Some people say the birch xylitol is different from corn xylitol. Let's do strawberry. Okay. Yeah. Wait, did I try this one? Yeah, we tried it together. Oh, I tried this one apparently. It looks like they have real strawberry in here. I can't really tell. That is really good. Whoa. That's the best strawberry ever. That tastes legit like strawberry. Okay, we gotta try this mint. Mint is really tells you how good your ice cream company is, I feel like. Because really? it's, yeah, it's the highest like margin I think of error. chocolate. Chocolate, yeah. It looks like someone just artisan, they spread it. These taste like real ice cream. That is, yeah, very good. The best I've had. Yeah. The best ice cream. The best. Xylitol, that's the one downside though. But maybe that's why it tastes so good, right? The sweetness maybe. factor. There's definitely two types of low carb ice creams you'll get. There's like the super icy ones that have no flavor. Or the zero. worst, yeah. And then there's these which are made with real heavy cream that are actually taste kind of like ice cream and the consistency is good. Oh, that's really good. They got the flavors down. Yeah, they do. Is this something you would recommend and buy? Because it's the best ice cream we've had, so people are gonna want it, but it uses eight to 10 grams of xylitol per serving. That's the part I'm confused about. I'm a little confused too. We just did xylitol straight by itself, nothing with it. Like this is 22 grams of fat with it. I assume it would have maybe a marginal rise in your blood glucose though. But who knows? Heidi's, feel good foods. They are raw, vegan, paleo, grain and gluten free. Almond flour energy balls. You got walnut brownies. Ginger coconut carrot cake. Mm. And then chocolate hazelnut truffles. I'm trying this. These look great. These look like crumb donuts. Almond energy balls. Pretty good. That's, I'd say really good. It's like natural tasting, light on the sweetener. Oh, it's raw. Raw, no erythritol either, it's just stevia. So nothing's baked. It's just like, I like this. a bunch of stuff pushed together. Yeah. This one's really good too. The ginger really comes through. Wow, so this is a raw cake or yeah, brownie or something? Yeah, that's why I'm impressed. I don't know if you guys can see this. This is cool. I like it. I actually really like this. That one? Yeah. I need to try that one now. 260 calories, 25 fat, 12 carb, 5 fiber, 5 protein. 4 sugar alcohols too, so only 3 net carbs. This is good, but it definitely tastes healthy. But I in, like in that. kind of a good way, yeah. It doesn't taste the same way like Halo Top ice mm. cream does. I love the texture of just like all the stuff raw and put together. Heidi's killed it. Heidi's is a winner. I honestly I like Heidi's. I was like, this is not gonna be good. When we got it, I'm gonna be honest, impressed. Good job, Heidi. Catalina Crunch dark chocolate artisan cereal. I've tried it twice because we got it like a while ago in a keto crate and um so one third cup, which is really small. Mm -hmm. Super small, like you, you can't eat that much. 90 calories, four fat, eight protein, and then 12 total carbs, seven dietary fiber. That's not bad. Breakfast cereal is a hard habit to break. This definitely 
Could be good if you're having trouble giving it up. Well, ingredients aren't the best. Mm. The ingredients are pea protein, potato fiber, corn fiber, chicory fiber. A lot of fiber. Sunflower oil. So like. So not really nutritious, more of just like a lesser of two evils. These are big flakes too. This would be actually great as a cereal. Mm. Very crunchy. It tastes almost like the Oreo cookie, just the Oreo part. That's pretty good, I like that. Yeah. Catalina okay. Crunch, perfect keto bars. They came out with two new flavors. I think let's just try one. We've tried these already. I don't even know if I can. I we've, can't either. We've, we've tried both of them. So this is salted caramel. Both of them are like pretty good. I wouldn't say either are home runs. Oh. I think the original flavor is better. Uh, this is, I think this is my favorite flavor. The See, that's my least favorite. The lemon poppy seed. I'm, I'm really impressed at how good it is. Yeah, so like the major component of this is cacao butter, I think. Oh no, it's almond, almond butter. butter. Okay. And then they use tapioca fiber, collagen, cacao butter. It's 11 carb, two, uh, nine fiber, so only two net carbs. We have a discount code, it's Keto Connect. So if you like their original bar, which we did, the almond butter brownie, I would, which one would you say pick up then? We like separate ones. I would say this one. I think traditionally you would like salted caramel, like the general you. That's perfect keto. Okay, so Lona Life, we love their uh, um, bone broth, their chicken bone broth, came out with a keto broth. Keto broth. So when I cool. first saw this, I was like, what's going on here? This seems gimmicky. And I drank some yesterday. Is it good? It tastes different than their original bone broth. I like the other one better flavor wise, but this one I like that it has fat and it has better ingredients. So yeah. it has chicken fat in it. I assume it's like powdered somehow. The original one has three grams of carbs, three grams of fiber. There's like some kind of fiber added to it somehow. Yeah. But this one just uses like the chicken fat instead, I guess. I don't and know. It has, it has five fat, 10 protein, zero carb. So if you're looking for a bone broth to buy, a lot of people ask us, this is the one. Keto, Lona Life Keto Bone Broth. You guys have seen Fat Snacks. We've tried their cookies before and they came out with a new flavor. So if you have tried their cookies before, you haven't really tried their cookies till you tried this flavor because this is by far the best. My favorite is the peanut butter still. I like a, a, I'm a peanut butter person. This is the best keto cookie I've ever tried. Fat snacks, but not all of the flavors. I wouldn't say all of the flavors are my favorite. What about the lemon one? They're all okay. This one is just so far and above the best. I think the chocolate chip cookie one is not that great, but the peanut butter one and this one. So this is double chocolate. It's kind of like bready and soft. For one cookie, it's 100 calories, nine fat, two net carbs, seven total with three sugar alcohol, two fiber, and two protein. And they're really filling. But there isn't fiber added to it. It's just from like, you know, the almond flour. But the ingredients are on point. The only thing is it is xylitol, three grams. Good, really good. I like those. I like the texture, but still the peanut butter is my champion. Yeah, these are really good. Keto snaps. So you've tried these guys before. Long time ago. They came out with new flavors and now I can try them. They come in too many packages and the serving size is three cookies. It's 160 calories, 12 fat, eight carb, two fiber. There's a little maple syrup in it. So I don't know if you're team crunch or chew. I'm team chew. I'm team crunch for sure. I feel like the only cookie I've tried on keto is chewy. So that's cinnamon vanilla. Oh my Lord. What do you think? So good. You like it? Yeah. Whoa. Mm-hmm. I like crunchy. This would be good dipped in coffee. I like these crunchy cookies. I've never had keto crunchy cookies. I wouldn't give it like an A plus, would you? Yeah. Oh, I'd give it like a B, a B. A plus. We got some things that are still in packages. I'm taking small bites the rest of the way. Nordy, low carb classic chocolate bar, protein performance chocolate bar. So they got two here. Nordy, that's a cool name. By Biotech Bodies Australia. It's uh, baker's chocolate, cocoa butter, xylitol, coconut milk. And this one also has um, probiotics and prebiotics. Yeah, this one does too, which is just kind of excessive to me. It's like, do we need probiotics in our chocolate bars? So it's like a yes, no, yes, Eh, you know, do you get that like same wavelength? Yeah, it's nice and velvety. The aftertaste is really not my fave. And the during taste isn't great either, but the texture or like the uh, consistency. Yeah, it's good. Or no, the aftertaste is like raisin-like to me. Do you ever get, taste raisins? Mm -mm. I like them in my cereal. So this is Highlight. 
Zero calorie electrolyte concentrate. So half a teaspoon is 45 grams of magnesium chloride. Milligrams. 150 milligrams of potassium chloride. Five milligrams of sodium. And then there's a little zinc, very little zinc, and some chloride. So I'll just do like that much. Tastes okay. Hmm. I don't really know how to feel about these. I would never buy it. It's very flavorful. But since we have it, maybe I'd use it. But I guess it's a, it's a really good idea because people are always looking for something like this, right? Yeah. So high light, L-Y-T-E is how you spell light. All right, so this is Ooh. keto cacao. I remember these. We tried them and we like joked about them and didn't love them. Maybe this is redemption as well. Well, I said they had something going, but they just needed to improve it. So now they have three flavors. They have hazelnut, they have dark, and then they have coconut. coconut. Baker's chocolate, erythritol, shredded coconut, MCT oil powder. So they really changed the recipe. I remember there was cacao butter in it last time. And there wasn't any erythritol, right? No, it wasn't that was the at problem, all. yeah. So one bar is 22 fat, four protein, 14 carbs, four fiber, and then 10 erythritol. So four net carbs for the bar. There's a zero. Oh, it's zero. Yeah, it's less than one net carb per bar. Whoa. Because they're really not using anything with carbs in it. I don't know. Definitely a lot better than last time. It's good. I it's, don't think it's coconutty enough. It's not great. Yeah, I would say they redeemed themselves from last time. Slightly. We got some shirts. Do you know who these are from? I don't really know. Well, like, it's just a shirt with a graphic on yeah, it. Yeah, it's not really keto. If you like graphics. Well, mine's pretty cool. I picked a cool one. Yeah, I mean, they're they're cool, but like, you're not going anywhere in the shirt game would be my initial thoughts on this. Like, it's a, it's a laugh. Like, it's cool. I get what you're doing, but I wouldn't really pursue it. But again, it'll all be linked below. So if you're genuinely interested in my guy, check it out. Yeah, I'll link below who this is. I don't know. Is this the last thing? Mm-hmm. We got all these baking mixes. Hunanel, Hunanel. It's a Hebrew company, so that's how you pronounce it. So we got brownie, yellow cake, muffin, chocolate cake, sandwich bread, pancake. And the ingredients are like just basic home ingredients. So like almond flour, erythritol, cocoa powder, monk fruit extract, and baking powder and salt. So, so to like, me, it's like, why are you even selling me this? People don't want to buy it separately, I'm assuming. And you just want it all in one. Cause like this one, for example, sandwich bread, it's almond flour, coconut flour, baking soda, salt. So they're just like buying those things, putting them in a jar and selling them to me. I, I feel like it'd be costly though. Cause it's in mm. glass jars. This is a muffin mix. It's almond flour, erythritol, baking powder. Yeah, so it's pretty basic, but like you can add what you want to it. It's not even like they're figuring out the proportions or anything for you. Like this one, where it uses coconut flour and almond flour, they, okay, they figured out like what portion of those two makes sense. So the one thing I don't like about this is that you have to use the entire jar. So it tells you combine this jar with, you know, four tablespoons of butter, two eggs, one fourth cup water. But they were generous enough to give us a code KC25 OFF, KC and OFF in caps, you get 25% off. Last thing we got. Keto Coach, it's a new ketone tester. So there's Keto Mojo, as most of you guys know, but Keto Coach is also on the scene. So some things to note about this that are actually interesting, I think, is the strips. Yeah. Mostly, so basically like all that really matters about the Keto Meter is the strips. We talked to the guy who made this basically, and some of this might be his spin on things, who knows. But basically like making the meter, anyone can do that. It's all about the strips. So some things that maybe this improves upon over Keto Mojo, these are individually wrapped in foil. You can't really alter like whatever chemicals in each strip by like opening the container yeah. and like exposing it, you know? Cause Keto Mojo just comes in a jar where you open it, there's 30 strips and you in touch there and you all. take one out. Yeah, so I feel like there is some validity to that. You know, real drug companies, they sell ketone strips like this. Like the Precision Extra or yeah. Abbott Lab, they do yeah. it like this. Do you want to test it though? I guess I could. And this is coming at the end of a lot of suboptimal foods. And then I'm also gonna do blood glucose just because I wanna see where that's at. Cause we have eaten like a lot of xylitol today in these products. I'm just gonna do all three at once. I don't know if that's, you're probably not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to. We've <laughs> gotten like plenty of emails and DMs from like nurses who are like, that's not how you do it. So we're gonna compare Keto Mojo, Keto Coach, and then I'm just gonna do a glucose. Oh, and then also, Keto Coach takes less blood. Or it's like 20% less, it's like. Enough. So Keto Coach says 0 0.3, Keto Mojo says 0 0.2, and then my blood glucose is 93. So one data point, which I don't think says a lot. No, um, says nothing. Is that they're pretty close. Yeah, ketone's kind of low. 
Probably as a result of eating all this stuff. Then we got Keto Elite. Scientifically formulated for superior results. 12 grams of Go BHB, so it's ketones. Uh -huh. 125 milligrams of caffeine. It has like some B vitamins. It's ketones and then like some other hydration blend. I don't know, I would never buy this. It's a lot of companies that just take the ketones because it's really easy, they're made cheaply, and then they add their spin on things and the spin on this one is just the hydration blend it seems that's it for the taste test so some winners of this second video for sure heidi i think heidi's my big winner uh yeah i agree and then also for me the keto snaps see i don't know if i personally would put these in the winner i think they're more like they're good not great but mega loves them i love them the fat snacks chocolate so this to me isn't a huge winner because oh. I picked the keto snaps. Like if I had to pick a cookie, I'd pick the keto snaps. Okay, I'd pick these. Yeah, those are the big winners. Thanks for joining Wait, us. Is there this too? What's this? We're gonna do that faster.